Right. Uh, this was semester one for my game design development. Uh, silent one. As you can see, this is where the player would be spawning. Um, before I proceed, I'm just going to talk about what I have in this game and what you're going to go and see. So as you can see, this is where the player will be spawning, the starting area. Uh, as you can see, I try uh, kept to the environments where I want to be in you know, a dark, heavy rain situation. So I got the heavy rain and the heavy rain sound from the assets that we were given. Placed them in the level. I had to um, put multi rain uh, rain particle effects because I couldn't be able to um, enlarge and more or scale up to cover the whole area of my map of my level. So I had multiple of these rain particle effects around dotted around my uh, area. Um, so yes, uh, for the uh, environment and level wise, uh, um, unfortunately I had to keep it roughly simple, but as I can add as much detail as possible because it was due to uh, kind of restraints and uh, personal reasons that I've been able to do this work uh, up until, well, unfortunately now. But, uh, right, so once that's out of the way, we'll now see. So this is again this is where the player will start. So I tried to make it as simple where the player needs to go as possible, but also trying to. Um, Give the player a bit more of a feel rather than just going to uh, go here, go there, add some slopes, stairs, and the obviously jump pad, which we'll get to at some point you know, in, uh, in a second. So, as you can see here, this is, this is a uh, this, um, yeah, bullet section. I put this here just to give the player help, I put the player by the player to see where to go, so we'll go right here. So, once we go here, you can see over there we have a, uh, a bug, one of the enemies that I place. I'll get to him in a second. So um, this is just the uh, bullets drop up the uh, pickup point. Um, so as we go over it, when it goes 14 now it's very nice. Uh, basically all the, um, the drops, the armor, health and uh, bullets, uh, I set them to 25 max each. I figured that would be like an average good, uh, that was my average for what I wanted to try and do in this level. Uh, so once we now look at that, we shall have a new seat to the bug. So again, from 39 to 46, sorry, 64. So it's 25 each time. So as you see, I added uh, two bugs just to give the player a feel of what the enemy is, what they're like, and what they need to do to kill. So as you can see, they are now trying to gauge. So I set the, uh, I kept basically the, um, the damage models and effects what they were given because uh, I thought that was roughly I did trick them slightly just to be a bit more of that but in the end I uh, that so um, let's go try and kill these now so I set the health of the bugs so that they uh, die in every four shots that I've directly hit so let's do this again so uh, four shots to kill bugs so one two three Oh, and they're dead. I did that because I tried to do like a swarm type system, well, not much of a swarm type, but basically try and give that idea. Unfortunately, uh, I was trying to work down, uh, fix that, uh, add that to the game, but unfortunately, uh, with my skills with the um, uh, coding and blueprints, it's not feasible, it wasn't uh, possible for me to win that or uh, add that. So, like I said, here is the um, ammo, health, and armor. So again, that was at 25 in each. Um, before I see, I set the max life uh, to of the player to be about 150. Because I thought that's in every game, like uh, Doom, um, etc. They're roughly about 150 health max, 125. I thought I'd give it 150 to give the player a bit more fine chance. Armor, I put around 200. Cause I thought that would be um, again, it's about good standard, plus with the enemy's uh, damage, I figured it would be a good thing to give the player a bit more armor. So, now we see to the next area. This is where I want like a waves and spawn system, so when the player came through here, it will spawn uh, the bugs instead of them just running around when we start the play. I just get out of the first, before they do anything. So 
so yeah, I wanted to do, uh, do like a wave system, spawn system, so when the player came through that gate, it would spawn of those, and then after that, uh, a few seconds of AOP, um, again, another couple of two more about three ways of fourth wave and dogs to get a player a bit more than H. Uh, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the blueprint coding done. Got a bit, uh, again, my current ability for that is not very good. Uh, I was also planning to give like a key or type system to open this gate, but unfortunately, again, I wasn't able to get it done, so it just pretty much when you get posted, it will open it by itself. So once we proceed down, I added uh, these health packs just to throw it away, it's got extra health for now before we go on. Uh, yeah, so the assets, again, I just wanted to uh, do as much as I can, put in level as much as I possibly can to make it slum like as possible. Um, so I just uh, tried to use much of the assets, the outer buildings, uh, the the distance, keep uh, a bit more feasible, uh, like a really nice slum type of diamond. Yes, I could have added the um, stuff on the floor, get a bit more feel to it, but unfortunately due to my uh, time constraints and personal reasons I couldn't be able to do so. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see, look at the low one on these stairs, I put, I put like a ceiling cut effect. Just to give like um, an idea of their understanding, if they think about it, the basis of sort of building by building or building. So I was trying to give it like a um, a cyberpunk type feel, but also make sure. Uh, yeah. Right, let's proceed on. Here I just put uh, one bug to give uh, something to do rather than just, you know, walking that long distance doing nothing. Uh, this is the jump pad I talked about. Uh, this is just basically, um, again, well, this is the name, just jump back, it's just uh, gives you enough to jump to go there. Uh, when I was doing the uh, block out, I did make sure that this does uh, hit and reach this point here, like so. Uh, I put this bug here just to give play like a little surprise and Phoenix to say, oh no, you just landed here, bug there, you know, trying to do a tenter scare, not very good, but just something. So before we see, it's the, the boss level just around this corner. Um, yes, there are some problems in this game. There, this uh, project I did, uh, I could have done probably a bit more better with my um, with it, but unfortunately, this is what I can do for the moment. So yeah, as you can see, yes, that is a troll or a bug. I tried to do a bug, but. Um, with the effort and the uh, timing and scale, I couldn't get it exactly done roughly. So instead I have to pull a troll as the boss. So before I do, I just get the uh, max stuff. So as you can see, my health is set to 150. So that one build picking up, but this should be able to do a job. So again, just the gates are just a proximity base. So yeah, I gave the uh, fire boss a big enough room for such things to sort of thing. just, uh, go around, jump around, and just shoot the boss. And obviously at the end, in order to kill. Uh, again, I just tried to uh, add like a wall system to play, it just like key in front of the again, but again, I couldn't get that fixed or put that in one grenade because again, I have my abilities with the blueprint, etc. So, this is just the end point. So, uh, thank you, and have a good day.